<laughs> yeah, Wicked Wicked 17, thanks for the follow, man. Alrighty, here we go. We got. Oh, yeah, we got Brazzers and. Uh, I have not Nico. seen Brazzers in the hottest man. I'm not gonna lie, but anyways, let's go into it. Nico versus Brazzers. Sonic versus Shulk. Shulk, kind of like the rule, uh, the newfound king of uh, Smash. I'm not gonna lie, like especially here in SoCal. Yeah. Uh, how many how many locals has Nico won? <laughs> Quite a few, yeah. but I mean his his work has paid off for him. He's definitely one of the players who first picked up Shulk in Smash 4. If you guys are wearing his resume right, Smash 4 he was the best Shulk main overall. Um, not only that, he had a couple big wins. You know, he beat Anti, he's beat Dad, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. um, names on top of my head, right? He's gone toe to toe with Denu, K9, Larry, Charlie, like on on the daily. So Nico is definitely a player who's always been able to showcase his talent there. But now that Shulk has been buffed, he's able to showcase Nico, uh, <laughs> Shulk a lot more. He's actually going to be at Collision uh, coming up soon. So if you guys are hoping to see Nico on the bigger stage, right, in terms of the uh, U.S. stage gonna be out there traveling soon he's very excited to go ahead and see how he stacks up against some of uh the east coast best so see how that goes for him but so far he's got to fight browsers and not gonna lie browsers not doing such a bad job yeah okay i like both what browsers and nico are doing off stage nico's trying to figure out how he's responding to pressure off stage by doing those little empty jumps and then figuring out how browsers tries to recover that time around Brazzers is not quite picking the right option. I'm gonna get caught by that air slash. Yeah, and that's kind of one of those things you have to factor in when you fight Shulk, right? The air slash range actually scoops you up, and the second hit will hit you from the other direction. Of course, you have to input the second hit now, as opposed to Smash 4. I mean, you have to do it in Smash 4, but that's one thing you have to understand. Sometimes Shulk lanes up to go just for the first hit to stop the landing. Mm -hmm. Switching into Buster Art. That's one thing you're allowed to do in Buster Art is the extra shield damage and of course percent damage as well that you can do with Buster Art. Of course the cooldown for each Monado is very different. They usually range somewhere between 16 and 18 seconds after being in use and, la and lasts usually about anywhere from 5 to 8 seconds. Okay that time Monado. mixes it up with the homing attack. I like it and uses that spring just to keep him safe. Oh no but he has no jump. Oh I like it and we're looking to see. I like the fact that he went for an empty hop in that situation because he was looking to see what Browser's reaction was going to be so we can get him back on with a forward air or possibly an up B. Really that backwards, sticking out through Brazzers. Zero percent to his name, but one stock left on the board with Nico's three and 170 percent still active. Shield him without art, activating in the nick of time. And it looks like Brazzers just having a hard time figuring out how to actually get the kill. Mm. I mean, of course, there's this is Shulk. It does have the shield art available whenever things get a little bit scary, but we'll have to see. Oh, that was an opportunity for a back throw, but I think he might have misinputted that. Thought maybe that he got the grab already and was already inputting for that back throw. Mm. So that's why you saw that roll come out instead. I think that might have been a little bit of a key error on Brazzer's part. Okay, a little bit of a shield stand out there. Brazzer didn't want to come in, but he gets the parry and he gets the back throw and then he'll take the stock. That's what I was going to say for Brazzer's, right? He wants to start understanding how to use parries in this matchup because if you're able to get a parry on one of Shulk's landing with aerials, you can get the punish, right? You get a three frame advantage over that. But no three frame advantage is going to be a uh, pretty much a JV3 advantage for Nico <laughs> taking it against Brazzer's. Yep. Okay, so that was uh, unfortunate. Well, okay, the first two stocks, I think they just went by really fast. That last stock was just unfortunate. Uh, SD right there at the very end. I think he inputted forward air and then didn't think he would make it back in time. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for RARBQ <laughs> joining the 2G game. Thank you so much for subbing. Please enjoy the emotes and such. 14 course, months. Add free, add free viewing. Oh, 14 months. Thank you so much. All right, here we go, though. Most importantly, the after game. But let's go back to the match here. For browsers here, it's kind of one thing to understand. Nico's push and pull options at the ledge, right? Sometimes he doesn't necessarily is going to go for the option he wants to see what browsers' reaction is going to be. Then he go ahead and makes a swing, right? Because he knows, hey, you have an extra jump. Are you going to use it? Fine. No, I'll come back to the stage, set the edge Do you use it? I'll call it out. Get the forward air, and now you have a hard time getting back on the stage, right? That's that's one thing for Browsers to understand, right? Nico's pushing the watch but I think that was really unfortunate from Brathers, Brazzers there because he had so much damage onto Nico already, 90%, and then he went to the ledge to think to himself, okay, let me go ahead and try and be a little bit more safe and just uh, reset back to neutral, and then he took all the damage and just got carried to the other side, and he's already dead. Yeah. And Brazzers was playing so well, but Nico, the edge trapping is where he's going to get that stock. Exactly right, and that's when Nico's really doing a great job excelling. For Brazzers, it's he's able to lead the dance, but he's not able to finish off and execute the movement to get, finish off the points. 
to get the stock here, but he goes a full jab. And I like that empty hop option. That's what I'm talking about. He's pushing pull options. He wants to see what Bowser's reactions are going to be. Especially against Sonic, they can kind of give a little respect to him because he is able to run over you at points. Looking to see if he was going to go for the second jump and call out with the forward end. Actually, would have killed the Bowser, just get the back air. Finally, taking the stock a lot earlier than he did the last game. Yeah. I mean, nico has been able to pull out a lot of stocks because of that edge guardian, but that time it was the first time I think that Brazzer was finally able to get an edge trapping reversal and was able to get that stock because of it. Still, one blink with the Buster Art and he's already at 116. Okay, I thought right there Brazzers was doing a good job applying pressure with those empty dashes, but he gave Nico just a little bit too much room, so it wasn't quite... Look, oh my oh, god, that vision. Oh, that vision actually it. killed. Vision has actually been nerfed from the Smash 4 duration. It doesn't kill, but it's really good to actually just mitigate damage, right? You're still able to do some damage to your opponent, but it's not as, like, kind of broken as it was in Smash 4. In Smash 4, it had some stuff. Right. All right, Nico going for the empty hops. It's the up to all. I like the dash dashing, trying to look for a grab here. Ooh, oh. I, I like that idea of running up tills, trying to mix things up. Oh, that pressure from Nico on shield. I even like the fact that he, the minute that he went for the run up up tilt, right, he tried to cover it with a spot dodge, but immediately Nico called it out. And sometimes you can't call your opponent spot dodge with a full jab because you will be able to get through the eventual frames of vulnerability. And the up B, Nico doesn't even need to touch the stage, he just needs to get the stock and the no. That was actually untenable because you said the right flash. Yeah. That was unfortunate from Brazzers. It just kind of looked like he tried to get the reversal. Thought that he could get it again like before, but that time it was a little bit of risky, risky position as because he doesn't really have good hitboxes that can hit underneath him, and that's where Nico was. He tried to do, do the back air and like drift in towards the stage, but that gives enough time for the knockback to not decrease. And so even if you hold down, I don't even know if he would have made it back because of that smash hard available. So I think in general that was just bad decision making from Brazzers at that moment. Yeah. He actually wasn't even able to make it back at all. Um, he got beat.